Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about traits of throne and liberty. This is very important because with upgrading and unlocking your traits, you are getting better version of your gear. Before we start, let me just say subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more of throne and liberty videos in the future. As you can see, I'm already here in the game playing Throne and Liberty in Korea on Trade's main user interface. And first I need to explain what are actually Trade's. Let me show you here an example of this greatsword. You can see here, for example, different kind of stats of this greatsword and you can see here Trade's. Melee critical hit 20, that is unlocked trait, and we have here two locked traits. Now, how to unlock traits, how to benefit from them, I will show you in a second. First, I need to show you actually which traits can you have on your gear. You can go in your inventory, you can click on some part of the gear and click on this icon here. You will have here full trait list. This is a very useful tool because to unlock different kind of traits, additional traits on your parts of the gear, you can unlock your your traits for any part of the gear, for your weapon, for armor, for accessories, and this will give your gear additional bonus stats. Your gear will be much better, much stronger with these traits. You can see here full list of the traits. Basically, you can see here when you click on different kind of traits, which weapons have that specific trait. I will show you why this will be very useful in a minute. Now let me show you how to unlock, how to upgrade and how to convert your traits. All of these three different things will be very important for your gameplay, especially in endgame gameplay, because you can see here even purple gear of course have traits. Let's go here on main user interface in gear enchanting where you'll find traits. We'll play around a little bit with this ring here. For this ring here I have two options. I can convert trait, I can get from this healing regeneration trait into enfeeble chance 25 trait, that is another trait, by using duplicate item. Another option for me would be, you can see here I also need to use this quality convert potion. I will show you in a minute where to buy this quality convert potion and in generally all convert potions. Another option for me would be to unlock another trait. Also for that I will need duplicate item. This is very important to understand because in endgame when you will have some purple part of the gear, when you will want to unlock another trait for your item or maybe to do this conversion of your trait, you will need to have duplicate item. Not only one but few items to get what you actually want. Let me show you here for example for unlocking. I will now need to click on this uh, combine and that's it. I would have unlocked second trait for my ring. However, I can do also this. This is conversion of trait. So from this health regeneration 15, we are going into enfeeble chance 25. I will also use this quality convert potion. This quality convert potion, I will show you where to buy them. They are very important uh, for this conversion. You can see it's easy to buy. You will see that in a minute. You can buy them for gold. So this is first thing which you can do with your trades. You can actually do conversion. You can change the trade if you don't like it. If you think that this health regeneration trait is not good, you can convert this trait into another trait. You need to have another duplicate ring to do that. For upgrading trades, you don't need exact duplicate item. You just need item of the same type. That means for ring, you need ring. For boots, you need boots. For weapon, you need weapon of the same type. It doesn't need to be the same, exactly the same item. However, for this conversion, and for this unlocking, it needs to be exactly the same item. Which is bringing us to endgame, right? Because in endgame, imagine you get some amazing purple part of the gear, some really good part. Well, story is not over. You can get that part, you can buy that part of the gear, maybe on marketplace. But story is only beginning at that moment. Because you still need to get at least two or three more parts to unlock a different kind of traits on that part of the gear or maybe to change. Maybe you don't like some trait on your part of the gear. Let's do this. Let's, for example, combine here. Let's click on combine. Let's see what will happen. Okay, click on screen. And you can see here, now my ring have two traits. Health regeneration 15 and enfeeble chance 25. I can now additionally upgrade these traits. So for example, this health regeneration 15, I can upgrade with another ring. Currently I have another ring duplicate item, like I said, but you don't need to have exact 
duplicate item for this upgrading system. You need to have only item of the same type. Let's do this for fun. And before I do this, it's important to say, you can see here written blessing. You can also have option here, use blessing. What is this blessing? This blessing is basically fail stack. So this upgrading of your trade is not 100%. You can fail. You can actually fail, but don't worry if you fail, it's explained here, you're getting these blessings up. With these blessings, you're getting basically fail stacks. So at one point in time, you'll maybe want to use blessing to have better chance in succeeding of this upgrading. Let's do this upgrading. It's a green on green part. This is uh, basically very simple and it's done. So this is the story behind trades. You can see here different kind of items. Let's go back into inventory. Different kind of items have different trades. Let's check a little bit trades, for example, for this item here. You can check full list of the trades and you can check which items have which trade basically on this list. It's very easy. It's very easy. Basically, you can go here to your uh, main uh, inventory, right? And you can click on this icon here, trade list, and you will see full list of the trades and also which items have that trade. For example, stun chance have all of these items here. For example, here, this max health have all of these items here. And like I said, this is making very interesting end game content because you would think that maybe you can go to marketplace, for example, it's important to say, if you use this trade system, your item is not anymore tradable. Yeah, that is very interesting, right? If you use this upgrade system on your on your part of the gear, that item is not anymore tradable. You can see here on marketplace, for example. Yes, you could uh, use real money. You could use this. Uh, you could buy a Lucent with real money. You could buy some really nice part of the gear. Nevertheless, sorry, it's just beginning with that. You still need to unlock different kind of trades for that item. What is interesting here, you you notice here on marketplace certain types of items, which uh, I have just removed. You need to go back at marketplace to show you. So you can see here, extract. What this actually means, you can also extract trades and earn some Lucent on that way. I'm preparing special video for the future to explain how to extract trades, basically from normal parts of the gear, not only for purple part of the gear, you can do that for also other parts of the gear. You can extract trades from your gear and put them and put them on marketplace. On that way, you can actually earn lots of Lucent. Lucent is in-game currency, which you can also buy with real money, but you can see, you can actually earn a Lucent on free to play way. You can get some gear in the game. You can extract trades with special item. Actually, let me show you right away. I already said that I will show you. This is here a merchant where you can basically find, you can find this merchant anywhere in the open world. You can buy these special extraction. You can see here, look at this. All depends on what you want to extract, what kind of type of the gear. You have these extraction potions. You need to use these extraction potions basically to extract trades from your gear and then you can put that part of the gear on your on marketplace and earn some Lucent. Earlier already I have mentioned that you can buy conversion pots. Let's, uh, let's remove these ones from here to show you. Also from this merchant for gold you can buy these. These here are conversion potions. I can show you why you need these conversion potions to convert different kind of trades. If you are not happy with some trade, you can change that trade into another trade by using these conversion potions. So this system is actually pretty simple and you'll benefit a lot. You'll benefit a lot from this system in endgame because you can really improve different kind of trades which your item have. I mean, you can unlock here, for example, for this greatsword, I can unlock two more trades. If I'm not happy with any of these trades, I can convert them. I can show you, I can show you how, right? And also, like I said, you can use this system to earn some Lucent, very important in-game currency in the game by using extraction, extraction of trades and then sell that item on the marketplace. I hope I can manage to help you with this video. If you're interested in to Throne and Liberty, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm preparing lots of guides. I already have lots of guides on my YouTube channel, but I'm preparing lots of new guides 
for new players, for beginners, basically everybody is beginner, everybody is a new player at this point in time, for global release of the game. Also, check my live streams on Twitch. I am live streaming every evening about 6 p.m. Central European time. Join me during live streams. If you have any kind of questions regarding the game, I'll be glad to answer. For this evening, I wanted to show you trade system of Throne and Liberty. How to benefit from this system and how to actually use it. If you are watching my live stream, let's go for our live stream. If you are watching this video on my YouTube channel, thank you for watching the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more of Throne and Liberty videos in the future. I'm live streaming every evening about 6 o'clock Central European time, so join me to see some gameplay and to find out what is happening in MMORPG and PC gaming world. See you soon.